So we introduced how to multiply and divide integers yesterday, and now we're actually going to be multiplying positive and negative decimals. So we're going to apply the rules that we had for integers to decimals. And we're going to apply the 7C3, which is multiplying integers, to 7C7, which is to compute with rational numbers fluently. Now, we talked about what rational numbers are. Rational numbers are going to be fractions, and they are decimals, and they are integers. And what's interesting is that all of these can be interchanged. And so we have to come up with an algorithmic approach. An algorithmic approach is kind of like a set of rules that we're going to follow in order to do it the correct way every single time. So what we're going to attack right now is simply multiplying decimals, positive and negative decimals. So we are first going to have to determine, is our answer going to be positive or negative? and then we have to be able to multiply our decimals correctly. So if you can do those two things in attacking this problem, then you can be successful. So let's talk about some basic vocabulary. An integer is what? It is a positive or negative whole number. A rational number is going to be a fraction a decimal, mixed number, anything that can be written as a proper or improper fraction, anything that can be written as a ratio of two numbers, and it can be positive or negative. It includes integers, decimals that terminate or repeat, and fractions. Wait, but decimals can be fractions? Well, yes, all rational numbers include all positive and negative. So all the rules that apply to integers also apply to all rational numbers. So from the previous lesson, remind me, how do we divide and multiply integers? So there were a couple tools. We could either have used tic-tac-toe, Mickey Mouse, Pizza Man, or just understanding that a negative times a negative equals a positive. And a positive divided by a negative equals a negative. And a negative times a positive equals a negative. And so we are counting the number of negatives. And so that's why the pizza man is super easy. We cover up negative times a negative equals a positive. Mickey Mouse is the same way. Negative, negative, positive. So I have a 15 that's positive, I have a 3 that's negative. What is left over? Looks like a pirate Mickey Mouse, but it is a negative. Tic-tac-toe works the same way. <coughs> so let's apply this to positive and negative decimals. So the first thing we're going to do is only determine, is our answer positive or negative? Okay, so use our pizza man. We have a negative times a negative equals a positive. Negative, oh wait, that looks different. It's still multiplication. A negative times a positive equals a negative. Positive times a negative equals a negative. Okay, I got those. We good. Now you're going to multiply them. Okay, so there's a couple different ways you can multiply. I'm going to give you the traditional way, or I'm not going to give you the traditional way, okay? We all know you can stack them on top of each other. I'm going to give you a different way to wrap your head around these, okay? So I don't want you to flip out. I want, I'm trying to give you a different strategy. If it works for you, great. Bonus, if not. This one where you're going to use a multiplication chart, okay? So I am going to be multiplying 2 and 7 tenths times 1 and 6 tenths. Now, these look like 16 and 17, or 27, I'm sorry. 27, I could also write 27 
as 20 plus 7. Now I use my multiplication chart. So I'm going to look at the multiplication chart. I'm going to say, okay, what is 16 times 20? Well, 16 times 20 is 32. So I write down my 32, but I'm not doing it times 0. I'm turning, oh wait, it's times 20. So I'm going to add my 0 on there. Okay. Now I do my 7 times 16. And 7 times 16 on my multiplication chart is 112. Now, remember how I added these together? Guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to add them. 320 plus the 112, 432. Now we've already determined that a negative times a negative equals a positive, so this is going to be a positive answer, but then it says don't forget to move the decimal. So when we were talking about decimals, there are one two decimal places in my problem. That means I need to move my decimal one, two places in my answer. Our final answer is four and thirty-two hundredths. Okay. Same thing. This is going to be like 2.3 times, sorry, 2 and 3 tenths times 75 hundredths. And 20, that looks like 23, which is the same thing as 20 plus 3. Now, why did I do it with this number? Mostly because I'm going to think about this kind of like money. Now, if I've got two handfuls of 75 cents, Oh, well, that means I have a dollar fifty. And then I'm going to add my zero from the twenty. If I've got three handfuls of seventy-five cents, I'm visually moving the quarters around in my head. That means I've got two dollars twenty-five cents. Okay, and then I'm going to add those together. Five, two, seven, one. How many decimal places in my problem? There's one, two, three. That means it's one, two, three decimal places in my answer. And don't forget, is my answer positive or negative? So I have a negative times a positive equals a negative. That's our final answer. One more time. I'm going to do traditional multiplication on this one. That means I'm going to put the 1 and 25 hundredths on the top. And again, these were all different ways of multiplying. Each one of them can be a little bit different. Remember, this one's kind of looking like money. This one was using a non-traditional way. This is the traditional multiplication. And this is just multiplying decimals. 5 times 5 is 25. Carry a 2. 5 times 2 is 10, plus 2 is 12. Carry a 1, and that's 6. Put our 0. 5 times 3 is 15. Carry a 1. Six, 3 times 6 is, sorry, 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7. 3 times 1 is 3. Add straight down. Now, when you're doing this, pay attention to the number of decimal places. There's 1 two, three decimal places, one, two, three decimal places, and then I have to look at my, I have a positive and a negative, I have a positive and a negative, my answer is going to be negative four and three hundred seventy-five thousandths. Okay, so we're going to do this again. Is my answer going to be positive or negative? Negative, oops. Is my answer going to be positive or negative? Positive. Is my answer going to be positive or negative? Negative. 
How did I do that? I used my Pizza Man. Now I'm going to multiply. This time I'm definitely using my multiply multiplication chart. This looks like 17 times 8. Looking at my multiplication chart, 17 times 8 is 136. Now we have to move our decimals. There's one, two decimal places in our problem. That means there has to be one, two decimal places moved in our answer. And because of our pizza man before, the answer is negative. Easy enough, right? I'm going to do the non-traditional multiplication again for this. Yes, I can. Okay, so this is going to be 25 hundredths times 1.4. This looks like 20 plus 5. Now I can use and my now I can use my multiplication chart to do this multiplication. I've got 14 and 20 on my multiplication chart. That's going to give me 280. And my 14 times 5 is going to give me 70. So I'm going to add my 280 plus my 70 is 350. And how many decimal places are in my problem? 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. Oh wait, got to pay attention. Is it positive or negative? Well, I've got a negative and a negative equals a positive. Okay, 4.3 and 0.15. 4 and 3 tenths and 15 hundredths. Well, 4 and 3 tenths looks a lot like 40 plus 3. Then I can use my multiplication chart. So, 4 times 15 is 60, plus my 0. 15 times 3 is 45. 600 plus 45 is 645. How many decimal places in my problem? 1, 2, 3. How many decimal places in my answer? 1, 2, 3. Now pay attention, is my answer positive or negative? The answer is negative. So, things to keep in mind. There's a variety of ways of multiplying. If you like the traditional way of multiplying for yourself, if that's successful for you, continue to do so. If you forget which one you have to carry or borrow or move around, here's two new ways. Think about money, break them down, use the multiplication chart. But remember, apply the rules of negatives by using Pizza Man or the Mickey Mouse or the Tic-Tac-Toe. Apply the rules for negatives to your decimals and don't forget to move the decimals in the end.